As mentioned in the very beginning of this course, messenger ads should be a core component of your chatbot strategy. Put simply, they help you supercharge your bot by reducing your costs and increasing your returns. So at the end of the day, why not? Now, we're gonna start building out this campaign in Ads Manager here. For the consideration, let's select Messages, and then we'll continue. I'm going to set up my time zone. For the message destination, you want to have click to messenger set. This is set by default, and that's what you want to use. For the audience targeting, I'm mostly going to skip over this because this isn't a general lesson on Facebook ads. It's for messenger ads specifically, which is more towards the end of this tutorial. But the one important thing to note here is that you can, in this section of the campaign setup, upload either custom or lookalike audiences. So these come from the people tab where you find your most valuable subscribers and then upload that information to Facebook. So you can either re-engage with those existing subscribers or with a lookalike audience, find new people who are similar to your existing users that you find to be most valuable. So that's where you can upload these audiences. I'm gonna skip past the rest of the targeting here. For placements, I personally like to choose edit and deselect Instagram. Technically, you can run messenger ads on Instagram, but to me, I don't think it's a great experience. It's disorienting because if you're scrolling through Instagram, odds are you don't wanna be then redirected to messenger. So I don't like it, but split test everything and let data help inform your decisions. I'm gonna keep scrolling down, budget and schedule, I'm gonna gloss over as well, that's up to you. Now for identity, this is key. You need to make sure that the page you're running these ads from is the same page that your bot is connected to. This should be pretty self-explanatory, but in this case, it's connected to the wrong page. So I wanna make sure that it is connected to the Andrews demo bot page instead, which is connected to my ChatFuel account in this case. For the format and copy and creative, all that jazz, I'm going to skip over as well. So it's up to you. The key here though is in the messenger setup module at the very bottom here. So for this, you want to choose create your own welcome experience and then choose custom and click create message. Now this will show you all of this content. It might look a little bit intimidating, but fear not, we're gonna stop that by removing these frequently asked questions right here. You don't need to use those at all. Now for context, let's say that we are running a messenger ad for a restaurant and our goal is to get more catering leads, right? So to give context as well, this message that you see on the screen right now is what users will see after clicking the call to action button in the ad that they see in their newsfeed. So they click the ad, it sends them this message. Once they respond to this message, they're gonna be double opted in, meaning they will be counted as a subscriber and we can retarget them again in the future. It's the same mechanism that I mentioned in the last video on acquiring users from comments. Facebook enforces this double opt-in policy. So just because somebody clicks your ad, it doesn't mean they're going to become a subscriber. They need to still double opt-in. And the statistics on that from clicking the ad to double opting in, there's on average a 50% drop off. So keep that in mind. You wanna be concise as possible and value oriented as possible once people click through. Anyway. In this text reading, let's just ask our first question, which is how many people will you be serving? So this is best practice. You don't want to beat around the bush. People are already knowing what you're going to be asking them about if they see this ad. So just dive right into the first question of, in this case, a lead form. So hi, first name, how many people will you be serving? And then let's add some buttons that allow the user to pick between some options. You can also use quick replies, but based on different research we've done, it seems that buttons actually perform best. Sometimes on different devices, quick replies don't render for the users, which can be problematic, especially when you're putting ad spend behind this. So buttons seem to be best performing, so use those. Okay, so now for the label, let's create two categories, either less than 50 people and more than 50 people. Here, it does look kind of obnoxious, so I'm gonna take off people just so the text looks more polished. Okay, so how many people will you be serving? Less than 50 or more than 50, great. Now let's connect each of these buttons to a block in chat field. To do that, we're gonna switch from open a website to send a post back. So I'll select that. 
And now we have to create the content in chat fuel, right? Because in ads manager here, we can only create this welcome message of sorts. And we have to create the rest of the flow, the rest of the conversational experience in chat fuel using blocks, which is good because we're limited in our options here. We can use images and videos and buttons, but outside of that, we can't use different plugins like the send block or filtering, user attributes, all that kind of stuff. So let's now go into chat fuel and create that corresponding content. So let's create a group here. We'll call this Facebook ad. And let's create two different blocks, one for less than 50 people and one for more than 50 people. Great. Now on each of these blocks, since now the users will be in chat field, we can apply those tags and segment them. So let's create an attribute at the top of the block and let's call it catering party size. We'll call this less than 50 people. And we'll do the same here, changing the value though. Catering party size more than 50 people. Perfect. And then now that we've segmented them, we'll send them to a block where we can also capture their email. So we can just create one email block and then use the send block to send both of these people just to one single block so we don't have to duplicate the effort. So we'll call this capture email. And then we can just use this send block to send them there. So we'll say capture email capture email. And then on this block, we'll use just a single user email plugin, prompt them to share that. And then once they do, we'll say, thanks, we'll contact you soon. Right? So we have this pretty simple flow here. The user clicks the ad in their newsfeed. It sends them a message telling them or asking them, what's the size of your party, essentially. Based on that answer, we're sending them to different content and chat field, tagging them asking for their email and then capturing that at the end. So now let's go back into ads manager and set up the final stage of this. Okay. So we're back in ads manager. Now all that we have to do is link each of these buttons to the respective block in chat field. So to do that, we're just going to type in a super simple phrase here, which is in all lowercase block space name colon, and then the name of the block that we created that corresponds with this button in chat field, which in this case is just the exact same as the text in the button. So less than 50, and then we'll do the same here, block name, colon, more than 50, right? Pretty simple. Again, it works the same way with quick replies as well. Great, so now let's preview this. Uh, again, the preview that you'll be seeing is the message users get after they click on the ad in their newsfeed. So I'll click preview in messenger. I'll go over here in Messenger. How many people will you be serving? I'll say more than 50. It's tagging me in the background. I'll click to share my email address and bam, lead has been captured. Of course, at the end of that flow, we should also add some sort of export or alert either to Google Sheets, to Zapier, some sort of thing like that. So we're alerted whenever that happens. But in a nutshell, that is how you connect chat fuel to messenger ads to optimize your bot and really supercharge your business.